Good afternoon. Today I'm going to pick um, Oro Bianco. This one, this tree drop all the figs except for this one. I don't know how it's going to look inside. I saw like a little, I don't know. Doesn't look. Anyway, I'm gonna open this one to see how we look inside. Um, this one dropped all the brevas, then put some fix when it was here outside and it dropped all of them except this one but it has a uh, one here that I put a little bit of pollen and these two more that I didn't put any pollen and I think I have another one and the other one would be Moro di Caneva I've already picked a lot of things from my Moro di Caneva but this one I forgot about this one here and this one is dry on the tree see it's totally totally dry on the tree see Moro di Caneva and I also have to have a Malta black here that is was dry on the tree too so it would be this Malta black and this Moro di Caneva I have some Higuera Blanca here but those ones I'm gonna leave it there to dry on the tree because this one if you leave it there it will dry on the tree uh, the Higuera Blanca Look how weird is this one. Also, my De La Roca is, is um, ripening, but I think this one I can leave it a couple more days here. And I have another one here that is ripening, De La Roca. This, this was a nail layer that I did um, last year and grew a lot and it has, has a lot of figs, see, have a cluster of figs in that branch, have figs here and in the bottom there. My little balafi that has uh, like four figs here. May have to pick this one too. This one is Rosso di Trani, and I put pollen on this one. But no, I think I could leave this for tomorrow. I decide later. So I have here, I have um, Smith too. This is a Smith, and that this Smith is, I think, it's ready. Well, uh, no, I'm gonna leave it for tomorrow too. I pollinate this one, but not this one. So we're going to do Oro Bianco, Oro Bianco, Moro di Caneva, and Malta Black. I'm going to cut this open. So we're going to start with with Oro Bianco. I don't know how the, this one. Oh, this might be not good. Because I saw like water coming out when I was cutting the fig from the other side. Maybe spoil. Yeah, definitely this one. Oh. <laughs> accident here 
So the um, Orobianco was spoiled, fell from my hands. So, but it's not good anyway. I'm going to continue with uh, Moro di Caneva. So I'm gonna cut Moro di Caneva. Totally dry, so. This is how we look inside. I'm going to cut Malta black. This is Malta black. Nice, looks really nice inside. So, we're going to taste Moro de Caneva. As always, white eyes pet from Moro de Caneva. Unbelievable good. When he when he dries in the tree, the like all the flavors, flavors uh, concentrate. Um, you can feel like uh, this fruity, sweet, and dense. Really, really, really good variety, Moro de Caneva. I love it. Even the skin is is delicious. So now this is Malta Black. My God, unbelievable! This Malta Black, I don't pay like them. I know it's good productive and really you know a fake that you should have in your collection if you want to eat fakes but first time that I let it like dry like this and to be in the stage of ripeness and it's worth it it's, it's, it is amazing and this is not pollinated this is I don't put any pollen on this one this is really 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 good fish you can like you can, some berry flavor and and sweet and you know, really good those so signs that one failed the, the the Oro Bianca. I'm gonna pick this one, which is uh, from a tree that I that is on Ninth Avenue and in the 50s here in Brooklyn. I think this is a Breva, the last Breva on on any of my trees. Oh, but this is not good either. Forget about it. Look, not good. Spoil. It's a spoil. Like the Oro Bianco. So I wait in vain for, for this one. Anyway, this is all. Oh, let me show you these, these uh, layers that I'm doing here. With the little balls, you see the roots coming up. This is a smith. Let's see how I get it. I had to put this because of the squares. This is a smith. So this is a smith. I'm going to cut this one to see how we look inside. This is a smith. 
first ever on that graph and the graph is whew, two years there and this is the first fruit let's see mm. Smith never disappoints too this is really 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 good fig Smith I love this fig this is another one that you should have in your collection never never disappoints so this what Smith Thank you.